The Law of Karma, Dharma Practice, Volume 10, Dharma Practice Section, Sense Restraint. When you practice Vipassana meditation, reading from the calendar, Wat Ampawan. When you practice Vipassana meditation, it does not mean that you just want to sit with closed eyes and hope for heaven or Nibbana. You should understand the purpose of it, which is to build up a solid base of humanity so that you have complete human integrity. If you do not attain this, you will be reluctant in doing your duty and can easily fall into despair and hopelessness. When you have human integrity, you will not take the lives of others, be cruel, commit adultery, lie, speak sarcastically or vainly, take drug or drink alcohol. If you were drunk, your human integrity is not complete. At Wat Ampawan, we want you to build up this solid base for complete human integrity. With mindfulness, you lead. With clarity of consciousness, you inspect. You use the method of acknowledging what you are doing or feeling as the leader, followed by citing the term no as the inspector. For example, you acknowledge thinking or think no. The term no effectively helps your mind to be clearly conscious. That is why it is called the inspector. You should understand this point. I once asked a meditator about this, and he could not answer. He did not know what the leader and inspector meant. Mindfulness leads, and clarity of consciousness inspects, so that you are clearly conscious inside and outside. You know the right timing, the appropriate occasion, and how to be respectful. You are humble, grateful, and reasonable. You know from beginning to the end. You see arising and cessation. Then you will be moral and can differentiate sin and merit, benefit and fault. You know whether things are an advantage or a disadvantage. You should have all these abilities in order to be qualified as a genuine human being. Do people have perfect human integrity? It is what we have to ask every man who wants to ordain as a monk. Manusaya so si, are you human being? Ama pante, certainly, reverend sir. However, you can be an imperfect human. If your body is human, but your mind is as evil as if it is in a hungry ghost state or an animal state. So your mind is not in a human state. Therefore, it requires ordination to study the truth of life. 